Hi everyone, Kim Fazy here, and here's my review of Aquaman, directed by James Wan, starring Jason Momoa, Amber Amber Heard, <laughs> Willem Dafoe, <laughs> Patrick Wilson, Nicole Kidman, Dolph Lundgren, Yahya Abdul Mateen II, Tamara Robbins, Morris, I'm sorry, Tamara Timura, Timura Morrison, Ludi Lin, Michael Beach, Randall Park, Graham McTavish, Lee Winnell, Tainui Kirkwood, Tainui Kirkwood, <laughs> Tamor Kirkwood, <laughs> Denzel Kui, Kuihia, Kuiha. Quihis, Quihis, <laughs> Can Goldor, Goldor, Otis, the Han, Otis the Han, Otis the Hanji, the Hanji, Kikoa. Ki Koa Kian Ki Koa Kini Mano <laughs> Julie Andrews <laughs> John Rice Davies John Rice Davies Demon Hansu Andrew Crawford Sophia Far Faris Natalia Saffron Saffron Mike uh, O Olman Jack Andrew Frankie Crea Crea Leslie <laughs> Okay Sophia Emerson Bain <laughs> Ta I Isla Melnikov, Hank Amos, Kai, Kyrell, Colts, Colt, Coltsov, Coltsov, and Patrick Cox, great cash who he is. And of course, this film is about Aquaman, <laughs> and we start off with how his father, Tom Curry. Well, you know, who has always been, who's been a lighthouse, who's been a lighthouse keeper, who has been a lighthouse keeper for a long time. <laughs> and one day we see the Queen of Atlantis come out of the ocean right by his lighthouse. And, you know, he's, of course, Surprise! Wait, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, like there's a storm going on, and she comes out of the ocean. She was in Atlantis. She's the queen of it. She ruled. She is being charged by one because she wants to leave Atlantis. She just didn't want to stay. Like there's a war going on in Atlantis, and so she leaves Atlantis and comes to the surface. Comes to live with Tom. And at first, you know, some Atlantean guards come, try to bring her back, but defeats him, and so she saves Tom. And then they have a son named Arthur, and we see him grow up. And he is bullied at a field trip to Korean one day. He's a teenage, he's preteen, like nine years old. Yeah, <laughs> definitely preteen. <laughs> and we see how we can communicate with animal, with sea creatures. And then he grows up, and he um, lives. He lives on the harbor, in that area. This is his dad. This is his dad, but he doesn't know that Atlantis. He actually has a half brother named Orm, 
who wants to be the king, but Arthur is actually more in line to be a king since he's older than Orm. He was born before Orm. So he's more in line to become King of Lanthus. And um his mother, um Alana, Alana yeah, she um has to go back. She has to leave him. She doesn't go back to Lanthus, but she has to leave Thomas and Arthur. These Atlanteans are hunting her down, so she has to leave. So we don't know where she is for a while. And so Arthur, he's kind of just living in you know, the harbor, visits his dad, he's at the bar, and, and um, he is fighting crime. You know, because he knows he has these powers. He's just, so he's just fighting crime on the surface still, since he doesn't know anything about, you know, the kingdom, Atlantis, anything. But down in Atlantis, there is Mera who is a princess and knows that Arthur is the rightful king <laughs> to Atlantis, you know. So her and an advisor, royal advisor, who's known Arthur since he was a kid, who helped him out, yo, know, with learning about his powers, you know, come, you know, come back to the harbor to get Arthur, so come to Atlantis, take the throne and everything. And while this is going on, we see this inventor who's furious at Arthur because one day when him and his father was trying to get this technology from a submarine, Arthur came in and stopped them, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but uh, yeah, they were right there at the, in the ocean at the harbor and everything, close by the harbor. So of course Arthur stopped them, <laughs> but you know, it's bitter about it since he wanted to get away with that, of course. And so he gets recruited, and yep, recruited by Orm to work for him in order to take Arthur down. And he builds the suit and becomes Black Manta, you know. And so Arthur is getting to know Mera, the princess, and reconnecting with the advisor. It's really nice. And Arthur, of course, is reluctant at first, but he, you know. Realized that, you know, his mother, you know, was like, where is she? I like, could find her. And, you know, he's starting to take more responsibility. So he, he goes along with the ride. <laughs> and he already have to go to deserts, maybe to a desert, mainly. And go different places to get different artifacts. Then that he can come back to Atlantis. Then he finally comes to Atlantis and confronts Orm. And, you know, of course, Orm, he wants to be the king of Arthur is the king, so they had a fight and everything, of course, but not only them, there's a whole war with sea creatures and everything, you know, and there's actually um, sea creatures that talk, some of them, like there's these giant ancient sea creatures, there's a giant crab, yeah, there's a guy that actually do talk, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, right, they actually talk, like, it's not just the sonar, you know, like, Arthur can just communicate with, like, they actually do talk. And so Arthur has to, you know, prove himself worthy. And he does, of course. Orm gets what he deserves. And I don't I won't spoil so like what happens at the end. But Arthur Arthur gets what he needed. You know, not only with no ideas about Lantis, but things with his family, things with his first life, he becomes more of a team player, you know. At first, he's doing these solo things. He's hanging around with his dad, but he didn't have any other family, so now he has more family and friends, things like that. And now he has more responsibility since he's the king, of course. So it was really great. It was a great way to, you know, show what Aquaman can do, of course. You know, make Aquaman a stronger hero, a stronger character, and everything. Oh, yeah, because, you know, of course, why in the Aquaman movie? <laughs> For so long, because he's so awesome. Like, you know, like he controls water, talks to the fish. Yeah, he can talk about all of this. Like, he can control water and waves. Like, like, he can do all sorts of things. You know, like, there's so many awesome ways you can do. You you can, so many awesome ways that you can use those powers, show those powers, and they do. It is so great. Yeah, it's not just, you know, moving waves. You can manipulate those things so many ways. And he has the trident. 
so much power. He can do so many things. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he, he's so capable of doing different things, you know. And he uses that power to do the right thing, of course. Yeah, it was great with tell the story. I would have, I would have liked this a little bit more of art, of Arthur modern day, you know, getting some more training, coming back into the fold, cause like he's been years since he was trained, and then he had his, you know. And at that, he was only trained on land, so more of him tra being trained in Atlantis would be cool. Which doesn't have to, but a little bit more of getting used to it. A little bit more of, you know, Orm. Because Orm has a different father than Arthur, too. Orm's father is in the team. It's a little bit more Orm, you know, to like, Arthur, is he worthy? Since he's half human, you know, like, he's not fully Atlantean. Well, technically, he, but, you know, he's not Atlantean. Technically, they are human. But he's not Atlantean. <laughs> So is he worthy? Think more of that contemplating, you know. A little bit more. I would have done a little less with Black Magic. Like, keep him as how he is in the beginning. Because in the beginning, he doesn't have the mask yet. You know. Um, so I would have kept it where he's being introduced. And then he becomes Black Magic later. But he's used good. He is used well. <laughs> and then, uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but later on, you know, you get inside, he's coming back. Because they didn't use him too much, they didn't. But I would have just, I would have had, I would have waited even longer to use him, because we already have Orm, and that's the main conflict. But he wasn't used that bad. He wasn't used that much. He wasn't used bad at all. It wasn't bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was great. It was good interpretations. Oh, yeah, because he looks great, you know, with the helmet and everything, the blast. It's really cool. It's a really great film. Oh yeah, it's wonderful. Wonderful. I loved it. It's great. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And these JVS Last Infinity.